another video brought to you by Kendall Works. All right, guys, um, I get asked this question quite a bit, you know, at work because um, I just deal with a lot of systems. And basically what I get asked is, is, oh, my system seems laggy. Oh, I can't get to my application. It's so slow. It's, you know, it's a server issue or it's a network issue or, you know, anything underneath the sun, right? Well, normally I can look at my server pretty quickly and determine, yeah, it's not the server, right? But the network is always kind of an unknown, especially if you are in a big organization and you don't have access to, you know, all your network switches or your network routers, right? Um, but I found this tool, it's free and it works pretty well. You know, there are some caveats, it's a free tool, but for uh, general purposes, I figured I'd post this video because it is a helpful tool. So um, what you're going to want to do is go to a website here called iperf.fr. This web page, you're going to go ahead and click on the download button. And then uh, download whichever version you'd like. If I was in a big company and I was doing this, I'd just get the 32-bit version because this will work on both systems basically. And for the testing purposes, it doesn't really matter if it's 64 or 32. And that way you can use the same version, put it on a share somewhere, right? And then download it to every single server that you have. So once you have it downloaded, um, you're gonna go, want to go ahead and install it on your workstation, all right, that you wanna test from. In this case, you know, I'm on my desktop. I created a folder called iperf, and then it's just a couple of these files that you extract out. All right, once you have those under a location, you don't do anything here. You don't run the program from here, all right? What you do is you come to a command prompt here and you're gonna change directory to your iperf folder, all right? And then you're gonna run it from the command prompt, all right? But before you run it, you're gonna wanna put the same program on your server somewhere, all right, that you wanna end up testing. So to do that, I have the server here and I've done the same thing. I put it in the same location to make it easy. All right, and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to type in iperf3.exe minus s, which basically means make this one the server. I wanna listen for connections. And then minus p, and I'm doing 443. So minus p is the port and 443 is open on a lot of networks, so is 80. Obviously, if you're running web servers, you don't wanna use 80 or 443. You could pick something different. All right, but those are just general ports that are open on the network normally, and uh, they just work. So you just hit enter. It lets you know, hey, it's listening on 443. You then come to your client here, and we'll minimize the server, so you don't have to look at that right now. And you, you do the minus C, which means, hey, I'm the client, but I want to go out and talk to that server. So that server was 192.168.1.2. And then you put this same minus P again, because you need to talk on the oops, same port. So you do 443 and you hit enter. And this is going to test TCP connections. All right, let's go on out. It's talking to it. I'm on a 100 base T connection here, but with a really, really old router. So, you know, in a normal environment, you would be getting around 90. I got about 60 there. And because I probably didn't run that as an administrator, it's running it under a totally different window. All right, what you can do a couple tests here, and it gives you an overall, and then you can come back to your server, and your server logs all this and keeps it in here. So you can basically tell, hey, bandwidth was about 50 to 60, right? It tells you zero to 10 point something seconds. This is how long um, the transfer was. It just kind of gives you an overall. So let's, you know, that's helpful. It tells you your throughput, right? Around, you know, 68, your bandwidth, you know, somewhere around 57. But what would be even more helpful is, oh, I want to look at packet loss. So what you can do before you put the port, put minus U. And that's doing UDP. So go ahead and click enter. Again, what you're really concerned with is the server because it keeps that information as you can tell, okay, it gives you total lost. So if this was a high number, like 10%, 20%, 30%, right? Then you'd know, okay, I have some packet loss going on here. We need to start looking at the network. But since obviously we don't have that, it's not a big deal. 
Um, it's working fine. Nothing we need to worry about. So um, it's just a quick tool that you can load anywhere on any server if you have access. Um, and you can test it endpoint to endpoint. And it's just a helpful tool. So I just thought I'd share it. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys learned something.